here to accept special recognition from GLAD for her role in inspiring and contributing to SMILE is Miss Gloria Carter. It's always heartwarming to see love and celebration, especially within the family of music royalty. This time, it's Jay-Z's mother, Gloria Carter, who tied the knot with her longtime partner Roxanne Wilshire. The wedding was a star-studded affair, attended by a who's who of A-list names. The proud son and daughter-in-law, Jay-Z and Beyonce, were there to celebrate Mama Hav's special day. According to TMZ, the guest list included Beyonce's bestie Kelly Rowland, renowned actor and filmmaker Tyler Perry, the charismatic Good Morning America host Robin Roberts, and Corey Gamble, although the Kardashian, Jenner clan seemed to be absent from the festivities. This joyous occasion holds even greater significance considering Jay-Z's powerful track Smile from his 2017 album 444. In the song, Jay-Z revealed his mother's struggle to hide her sexuality and the impact it had on their relationship. While Gloria initially had reservations about the song, both mother and son realized the importance of sharing their story with the world. The song Smile received a special recognition award at the 29th GLAAD Media Awards in 2018. In a touching moment, Gloria Carter accepted the award on behalf of Jay-Z and delivered a heartfelt speech. You know, I'm old school. <laughs> and um, I wrote a little something, and I just want to share it with you guys. I must thank God, because without him, none of this would be possible. Thank you, GLAD, for this recognition award. I accept it with pride and joy on behalf of my son and myself. Thanks to my family for loving me unconditionally, no matter what. Thanks to my partner for loving me and helping me free myself from being in the shadows. Thanks to, to, thanks to you, to all the people whose lives I touched for your support by just telling my truth. <laughs> Smile became a reality because I shared with my son who I am. Not that people didn't know, I was just someone that they didn't talk about, but they loved me anyway. But for me, this was the first time that I spoke mom, to Mark anyone about Mark. who I in really am. New York My son cried and said, it must have been horrible to live that way for so long. My life wasn't horrible. Love gave me the courage to take the power that I allow other people to have over my life for fear of them revealing my secret that wasn't really a secret. Here I am. I'm loving. I'm respectful. I'm productive. And I'm a human being who has a right to love who I love. Everybody, just smile, be free. Thank you and God bless. In other news related to Jay-Z, it appears that even mundane items from the couple's lives hold special value to fans. Recently, a bidet that was once used by Jay-Z and Beyoncé at their former home went up for auction with a listing price of $2,400. The bidet was part of the couple's former Homeby Hills mansion in 2015. After their lease expired, the property was sold, and the new owners decided to renovate. That's when Eric from Eric's Architectural Salvagella acquired the discarded items. Let's get right into it. How did the two of the biggest names in music even meet? Well, we met a long time ago. Award shows, a lot of different performances. And at what point did the conversation come, hey, do you want to do some music? You know how people, you know, you, you, uh, you, know, you see each other and you respect each other's music. You know, there's always that conversation, yo, we got to do something. You know that. Now, it's been rumored that you're dating um, Jay-Z, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually talk about who I'm dating, who I'm not, because I think it's important that I concentrate on the music. And when you start talking about those things, then that becomes bigger than the art. I think any relationship inspires creativity, especially when it's a great relationship. The people around you inspire you in certain ways, be it something they've done or be it something they've said. So I think any good relationship inspires you.